Hi everyone, it's Melinda, and today we're going to be looking at my two very little specimens of tanzanite. And I've really been looking forward to making this video because, you know what? Tanzanite just might not be what you think it is. I was actually, um, you know what, very surprised when I did the research. Um, and besides it, maybe surprising a few people, maybe not everyone, but maybe a few. Uh, it also has a very interesting history um, that, you know what, I just wasn't aware of and it's quite neat. So I can't wait to tell you guys about these things. So the first thing, the thing that surprised me, the first thing <laughs> when I first did the research, believe it or not, tanzanite is actually a variety of the mineral zoocyte. Um, I don't know about you, but, you know, this beautiful crystal-y uh, specimen did not strike me as zoocyte. I was pretty surprised to find that out. Um, and if some of you are thinking, zoocyte, zoocyte, that sounds familiar, where have I heard that? You're probably familiar with this type of material right here. Very, very commonly sold, uh, in especially in the metaphysical world, uh, little tumble stones like this ruby in zoocyte. So the pink areas are ruby and the greenish areas are the zoocyte. Um, and this is the zoocyte I was certainly familiar with <laughs> before doing the research. Um, so this being zoocyte really did surprise me. Um, and I also, you know, was surprised to find out that this was tanzanite. This is my first one. It's just a very low grade tanzanite. Uh, in a teeny tiny tumbled stone and it's more for collectors who uh, you know want to make sure they have at least a little bit of everything until they can find uh, you know what their heart truly desires I suppose um, so yeah I guess this I, I was like how could this be tanzanite because I was so familiar with these beautiful gems but now I can sort of you know picture it and understand uh, what a really low grade tanzanite would look like because here we have zoocyte um, and they are the same mineral too cool all right so I'll start by showing you my little low-grade one and I'm sorry about all the cat hairs on my hands it's inevitable they're sleeping behind me right now as I do this video <laughs> here we go really neat so uh, tanzanite is a gem variety of zoocyte, um, so I suppose there are some out here who may not even consider this true tanzanite, uh, particularly if they're uh, more into the gemology side of it rather than geology. There we go! <laughs> it just didn't want to focus for me. Um, so yeah, it is a gem variety of zoocyte with a blue to blue-violet color. And the color is due to trace amounts of vanadium. Uh, it was first reported from the Marilani Hills in Tanzania. So let's get into more detail. So Tanzanite is actually a trade name that was first used by Tiffany and Company uh, for gem quality specimens of the mineral zoocyte with a blue color. So Tiffany could have sold the material under the mineralogical name of Blue Zoocyte, but they thought the name Tanzanite would stimulate customer interest and be easier to market. So instead of <clears throat> naming these newly discovered minerals as, you know, Violet or Purple Zoocyte or Blue Zoocyte, they decided to go with a more, I guess, marketable name and they chose tanzanite. And now for my beauty. So uh, this is newly acquired specimen, um, a dark tanzanite. Uh, it's from Maniara region in Tanzania. And this one is definitely gem quality for sure. It's a little difficult to handle if I drop it. Let's try not to panic. <laughs> oh, easier said than done. Let's see if we could get this to focus. No. There we go. Finally. There we go. Oh my goodness, what a beauty. Oh goodness gracious. Okay, 
Um, so the name tanzanite was given because the world's only known tanzanite deposit of commercial importance is in northern Tanzania. The name reflects the gem's limited geographic origin. The mines are all located in an area of about eight square miles in the Marilani Hills near the base of Mount Kilimanjaro and the city of Arusha. Although nearly all of the world's most popular gemstones have been known and used for hundreds of, near, of years, uh, tanzanite was not discovered in commercial quantities until the 1960s. So like I said, it's a fairly new gemstone. Uh, in the short time since then, it has become the second most popular blue gemstone after sapphire. This rapid rise to popularity was accomplished mainly by Tiffany's promotion uh, and tanzanite's beautiful blue color as you can see in my specimen here. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, <clears throat> because of its growing popularity, tanzanite was designated as a modern birthstone for the month of December in the year 2002. Gorgeous. Uh, so Tiffany and company have been quoted as saying, tanzanite is the most beautiful blue stone to be discovered in 2000 years. <laughs> It certainly is beautiful. I'll try my best to turn it. There we go. Oh, a little bit of freezing. So this type of color variety name is not unusual. Some people like to roll their eyes at uh, <laughs> of color variety names. Um, however, there is the name Ruby, which is used for uh, red to slightly purplish red specimens of the mineral corundum. Uh, the name Amethyst is used for purple specimens of the mineral quartz. And the name Emerald is used for green specimens of the mineral beryl. Each of these minerals occurs in a wide range of other colors, so it's definitely not unheard of uh, to name a specific color of a mineral, you know, uh, like a little bit more of a special name. <laughs> um, so today, nearly all of the gems being sold as tanzanite have a blue color that has been produced or enhanced by heating. When a gem has been treated in this way, the treatment should be disclosed by the seller because it has a significant effect on the stone's value. Um, I trust that this one is natural. Um, yeah, I got it from a very reputable seller, so I'm quite content that the color is authentic. And oh my goodness, is it ever beautiful. <laughs> um, yeah, so as a quick uh, recap, uh, tanzanite is the blue and violet variety of the mineral zoocyte, which is a calcium aluminum hydroxyl sorosilicate um, caused by small amounts of vanadium. That's what causes that color. Uh, tanzanite belongs to the epidote mineral group, believe it or not, uh, <laughs> and tanzanite is only found in Tanzania in a very small mining area. Tanzanite was formed around 500 585 million years ago during the mid edia karan period by massive plate tectonic activity and intense heat in the area that would later become Mount Kilimanjaro. Uh, scientifically called blue zoocyte, the gemstone was renamed as tanzanite by Tiffany and company who wanted to capitalize on the rarity and single location of the gem and thought that blue zoocyte would not sell as well. It's not really, you know, a very pretty name. Uh, so Tiffany's original campaign advertised that tanzanite could now be found in two places, in Tanzania and at Tiffany's. So that was a part of their marketing campaign because it is such a, um, you know, a rare gemstone. It only comes from that very small location. Uh, yeah, making it know very extra special and you know they tried to capitalize on that and I think it's fair given you know the actual beauty of the stone or rock or mineral I should say <laughs> absolutely gorgeous all right and of course always cat's hairs in there too sorry about that guys <laughs> all right tanzanite I hope you found that as interesting as I did I absolutely loved I'm going through all the research for this one. That was so cool. Tiffany and Company. Who would have thought? So neat. 
All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. See you next time. Bye.